Magandang hapon po. Ito po ay tanong ni Mr. Danny De Jesus. Medyo natagalan and matagal din akong hindi naka-upload ng video dahil sobra talagang busy. And by the way, kung may nalalaman kayo ng na mga nagbebenta illegally ng mga official na mga video courses natin, binebenta na hindi galing po sa amin, report lang po sa amin para magawan po natin ng kaukulang aksyon. Kung kayo po ay may mga anak na mag -e engineering so inaanyayahan ko rin po kayo na mag-enroll sa mga mastery courses. Malaking tulong po yung mga mastery courses natin para minsan kasi kala ng mga bata is mahirap ang engineering. Ang point is kulang lang sa tamang pundasyon. So gumawa po ako ng mga courses para po mapadali ang pagkakaintindi nila lalo na po yung nasa pundasyon pala. And inaanyayahan ko rin kayo na may mga subjects tayo na kung nahihirapan ka sa isang mga subjects meron tayong tinatawag na mastery courses nagkakahalaga lang po to ng 1,000 per course. Malaking tulong po, mas mapapadali po ang pag-aaral nyo. Doon sa mga nagre-review din po para sa master plumber, sa civil engineering, meron po tayong review na ginawa ko po itong mga online sa kayong face-to-face -face natin upang matulungan ko po na ang lahat ay makapasa sa board exam. So, simulan po natin itong discussion na to, no? According to this question, uh, we have here a cow that is tied by a 10-meter string, no? Or a rope. And the rope is anchored or is attached at one side of the 10-meter diameter cylinder that is 1.5 meters above the base. So, from the anchor point A to the base directly below it, point B is 1.5 meters. And this is 10 meters. So, this must be square root of 10 squared minus 1.5 squared by Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So, I can say, let me call this as point C. Your BC, the projection on the ground, is the square root of 10 squared minus 1.5 squared. So, this is going to be 9.887. 9.887. Let me store this in memory A of my calculator, shift store A. Okay? I will be needing that A. Why did I take yung... BC. It is something like this. Let us say that this is the cylinder, no? If this is the cylinder, then this is the 10 meter string. You can see it? The 10 meter is this. The 1.5 is this. And this is the BC, which is 9.887. So, if the cow will move from here, this is the farthest point that the cow can reach around the cylinder so it would be it can reach something like this you get it right so beyond this it can go straight like that okay in this particular problem let us look at the top view okay so if this will roll around this let us say that this is the farthest point that the cow can reach so, meaning this will be rolled around the, around the cylinder. So, meaning if this is BC, this is also BC. Right? Something like that. Correct? And this will be your 10 meters. You follow? So, let me look at the top view. This is the top view. So, let us say here that this is your... This is your point B. Point A is above that. Ito yung point A above. And this is point B, the projection on the ground. So from here to here, the farthest point that the cow can reach from here, this one is uh, B, C. This is your point C. And this one is... 9.887 this one 9.887 so this is 9.887 and this one is the radius of the cylinder which is which is 10 meter diameter so meaning this is 
5, right? If you recall, we have the formula for sector. If I have here a circle and this is the center, if this is R, this is theta, the S here, the length of this is theta R or R theta. Wherein your theta is in radians, right? So if I'm going to take or solve this angle, and I call that angle as angle theta of point B. We say here that the S, ito yung S natin from the formula S is theta R. This is the S B. This is from C to B. This is theta of B. This is the radius. So therefore, the theta B is S B C over the radius and this is going to be equal to 9.887 which i stored in memory a of my calculator over the radius the radius is 5 and this is 1.977 1.977 and this would be radians let me call that or store that in memory b of my calculator okay Alright, the problem is like, this is the projection of B. If you roll the rope around the cylinder like this, or around the circle, let us say that this is the end of the rope. As you roll that or unroll that around the cylinder, your end of cable will generate a curve. And this curve is called an involute of a circle. Now, notice here, this one, that's it. Is one. Now take note, the assumption is that the rope is always straight. So take note that it is always tangent to the, to the circle, right? So the length from here to going to A, this is now tangent to point A or point B. From here, going to here is the same as this one because it is just the length of rope that is unwinded from here. You get it? So, the problem here is how are we going to solve the area wherein our cow can grease. So, from here, this is the length of the rope. So, it means it cannot really be like this because it is continuous curve. So, from here to here, like this, this is the cylinder, this is the anchor, and this is the cow, the chalk. The cow can, can go here, but the farthest it can go is traced by this line. But at this point here, this is now tangent to this, right? Okay? This length is the same as this length, 9.88. 7. Beyond this, this is 9.887. The cow can move to this, to this, to this. But the farthest that it can reach will be something like this. It will always be here a semi or a circle. Okay? So this would be half of the figure. Right? This is the continuous involute. But this portion, this one, is just part of a circle whose radius is 9.887 and this is its center. Meaning this portion is a quarter circle, right? This is a quarter circle. Let me call this A sub Q. The area of that quarter circle is equal to what? One fourth of a circle. One fourth pi r squared. What is the radius of this quarter circle? 9.887. So you compute this and you will get 9.887 is in memory A. So this is 76. 
773 and this is meter squared this one this one so that the total area is going to be twice the area of the quarter circle and the area of this okay so how do we solve this area now let me take any point on this circle let us say this one at this point take note if i'm going to unwind this from the cylinder okay so if i'm going to unwind that then the this portion is going to be this one and the end of that is this one right because this is the tra this is the trace or the locus of the end of the string no that is unwinded on the from the cylinder but the only difference is that it is not a continuously winded string but it is a string only attached at ab so that's why from here and on it will now be a circle okay but this one is the involute now take note if this any point here, let me call P, has an angle of theta. So as we had said, from horizontal to incline is theta. So from the normal to vertical is also theta, right? But this has no real significance, no? So this is also theta. Now if this is theta, this arc, this one, the length of that, that portion of the string, this one is r theta okay so this is r theta wherein your r is constant at 5 so let me just put it as 5 theta right so if this is 5 theta this one is also this one is also 5 theta that is r theta so that is the length of this now if i will take another point very close to that Okay, and draw a tangent here. So, I will be having here this differential area. That is now the key. So, this is now differential theta. If you recall, for the area of a sector, the area of a sector here, this is S is theta R. So, and the area is theta over 2 R squared. Okay. In here, take note our final theta as we had solved here. This is your S, the length of the string, 9.887. From the formula S is theta R. So we have theta is S over R. So 9.887 over B or over R, which is 5. So we have 1.997977 radian. Okay? But in here, take note. The area is this. If this is differential theta, this is differential area. But for this differential sector, this is your differential theta. And your R is 5 times theta. So doing that here, the differential area is going to be the differential theta over 2 times R squared. But your R is 5 theta. So this is 5 theta squared okay so factoring out you have 5 squared over 2 so you have here 12.5 then theta squared d theta when we integrate integrate this we will be able to get our area our theta this is d theta this is theta so the limits must also be theta so at this point at this point theta is zero at this point here theta is what theta b which is 1.977 radians so the unit of this must be radian from zero radian to 1.977 radians you try to integrate this in your calculator so you will get here 32.196 or 2 and this is square units so this is the area of this involute okay so therefore our total area the total area that the cow can grease is going to be equal to or can pass can be pastured is going to be two times 
this area. Kasi this is just one half of the total area. So therefore, this is going to be area of the quarter circle 76.773 plus 32.2 quantity times 2. So the total area is 217.94 square units. Or since this is in meters, I presume, so this is square meters. This is the area that this cow or goat, whatever is that, can uh, be pastured or can uh, graze, no? Okay? So, yan yung mararating or kayang kainan o puntahan nung cow. So, I hope uh, this uh, discussion helped. Just in case meron kayong mga question na pwede akong makatulong sa nyo, then I'm willing to help you. And by the way, so pag may nalalaman kayong illegally nagbebenta ng mga materyales, uh, specifically sa sa amin yung materials na uh, ginawa ko, no? Binebenta sila or illegally kinapi or illegally distributed kahit hindi binebenta, sineshare. Paki-report lang po sa amin, no? And we think na yung pagka-down ng Facebook namin has something to do with the legal action na ginawa ko dun sa isa sa mga nahuli namin na nagbebenta, kumopya illegally at nagdi-distribute illegally nung materyales namin. So, thank you and God bless you all. Are you preparing to take the CE licensure exam? Here in Padilla Review Center, we offer online review for civil engineers and variety of other courses. Enrollment is ongoing. Visit our official website to enroll. Are you struggling with your major engineering subjects? Let us help you out. Here in Padilla Review Center, we have subject mastery courses you could enroll for 1,000 pesos per course. What are you waiting for? Enrollment is ongoing.